It's definitely hard, but I know that she won't be here forever. Pregnancy can often surprise us with extraordinary twists and turns that redefine what we thought was possible. Some of these journeys were filled with warnings and caution from medical professionals, where the parents were warned not to have children, but they didn't heed. Against the odds, these parents persevered, and the outcomes were nothing short of remarkable. Join us as we delve into 15 of the most unusual births in the world. 15 pounds Harper's the biggest baby born here at Arnett, according to their records from the past 30 years. Number 15, 75 days of labor. Being pregnant with triplets and enduring 75 days of labor while lying down at a tilted angle is hell. But that was Joanna's incredible journey in 2012. Her labor began prematurely at 21 weeks, leading to the early birth of her first baby, who unfortunately couldn't survive. Both the remaining babies were also at risk, prompting doctors to step in and delay their delivery. They administered medication to stop contractions and advised Joanna to lie down on a bed tilted at a 30-degree angle. To further reduce the risk of contractions, she had to keep her feet elevated, maintaining this position for two and a half grueling months. Joanna's determination and strength throughout this challenging period were truly remarkable. Her unwavering efforts bore fruit when she finally gave birth to two healthy babies, a girl named IGA and a boy named Ignacia. The births took place via cesarean section at a neonatal clinic in Poland, with each baby weighing just under four pounds. This miraculous journey stands as proof of a mother's profound love and unwavering determination in the face of adversity. Joanna's resilience and perseverance showcased the power of a mother's determination to defy the odds and overcome tremendous challenges for the well-being of her children. Premature births, especially in multiple pregnancies like triplets, come with increased risks for both the babies and the mother. Babies born prematurely often require intensive medical care due to their underdeveloped organs and systems. However, medical interventions and advancements in neonatal care have significantly improved the outcomes for premature babies, increasing their chances of survival and healthy development. The incredible story of Joanna's prolonged labor and the subsequent successful birth of her twins highlights the incredible advances in medical science, particularly in managing high-risk pregnancies and caring for premature infants. The resilience shown by both Joanna and her newborns is a testament to the human spirit's ability to triumph over daunting challenges. Number 14. Fetus Within a Fetus this newborn in Nicaragua was carrying his twin brother inside his body without even knowing it. It's quite an astonishing story that came to light in 2023. This surprising revelation uncovered that the healthy twin had an incompletely formed twin attached to the lower part of his body. But it wasn't just a mass. It had body parts, too. This exceedingly rare condition is called fetus in fetu. This unprecedented condition was discovered through an ultrasound shedding light on a medical anomaly that required a multidisciplinary team of specialists, including neurosurgeons, anesthesiologists, plastic surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, and pediatric surgeons. Working together, they performed a complex surgical intervention when the baby was just 26 days old. After a successful operation and 26 days in neonatal intensive care, the newborn was discharged, both mother and baby safe and sound. The sheer complexity and uniqueness of this medical case emphasize the incredible intricacies of human development. Fetus in fetu is an exceptionally rare condition, occurring in approximately 1 in 500,000 births, making it an extraordinary anomaly in the realm of medical science. It occurs when a fetus becomes trapped inside its twin during early development. Instead of developing separately, the partially formed twin remains within the body of the surviving twin, often manifesting as a mass containing tissues resembling those of a fetus. It's an extraordinary occurrence that challenges our understanding of embryonic development and the complexities involved in twin pregnancies. Number 13. Abandoned Conjoined Triplets Macy, Maline, and Mackenzie's entrance into the world was quite a story, and it all started with a surprising twist. 
These triplets had a truly unconventional arrival. Doctors discovered that Macy and Mackenzie were born conjoined, sharing pelvic bones and a third leg, while Maline was born detached from her sisters. Imagine the shock and challenges faced by these newborn siblings struggling with such a rare condition. The baby's journey took an unexpected turn right after birth, when their birth parents, grappling with serious drug issues, couldn't care for their three precious kids. So, the girls found themselves in foster care, where their future was uncertain, especially for Macy and Mackenzie. But amidst uncertainty, their touching story resonated globally. Darla and Jeff Garrison, an incredibly compassionate couple from the U.S., came into the picture. When these little girls needed a loving home the most, the Garrisons stepped in. Their hearts were wide open to the urgent need for a nurturing environment, and they made it happen. Following a series of challenging operations, the process of adoption began. Soon enough, Macy and Mackenzie were moving forward with prosthetic legs, marking the start of an incredible journey filled with growth, determination, and an abundance of love. Today, these girls are living life to the fullest. School, art classes, and even horseback riding are all activities that are part of Mackenzie, Maline, and Macy's incredible adventure. Their story is proof of resilience and the power of love and determination. Number 12. The Heaviest Baby Joy Buckley, a 31-year-old mom, had a feeling her little one was going to be on the larger side. But when her daughter Harper finally arrived, no one was prepared for what came next. Harper tipped the scales at a whopping 15 pounds and 5 ounces, a newborn of epic proportions. It took not just one but two doctors to bring her into the world. In those final weeks of Joy's pregnancy, life was no easy ride. She had to resort to sleeping on the couch to avoid the daunting task of climbing the stairs to her bedroom. Breathing became a challenge, her bladder felt squished, and her stomach had space only for small, frequent meals. With a challenging 38-week pregnancy behind her, her doctor gave the green light for a planned C-section. Waiting longer didn't seem necessary. Delivery day arrived, and at Ogden Medical Center, it took two doctors, one pushing and the other pulling, to bring little Harper into the world. And there she was, twice the size of most newborns. Joy aptly described her post-birth state as feeling like she had been hit by two tractor trailers simultaneously. But amidst the shock, baby Harper made her grand entrance, solidifying her place as one of the heaviest babies to be born and, most importantly, to survive. Harper's size at birth is extremely rare. Typically, newborns weigh around 7 to 8 pounds. Babies weighing over 9 pounds are considered larger than average, and those over 11 pounds are significantly rare. For Harper to weigh in at a whopping 15 pounds and 5 ounces puts her in an incredibly rare category. Surviving such a birth weight is a testament to both the medical team's expertise and the resilience of little Harper. Despite the initial shock and the challenges Joy faced, baby Harper undoubtedly stole the show with her undeniable adorableness. Her story made headlines and captured hearts, showcasing the incredible diversity and uniqueness found in the realm of childbirth. Number 11. The Oldest Woman to Give Birth In 1962, Mangama and her husband, Raja Rao, an ordinary Indian couple from a close-knit community, felt an emptiness in their lives. They longed for a child to complete their family. But luck wasn't on their side. Their journey to have a baby stretched across decades, but the joy of parenthood remained elusive. Mangama, unfortunately, was labeled as the childless lady a heavy burden for her to bear. However, these two were the embodiment of relentless hope. For Mangama and Raja, age was just a number. They refused to surrender their dream of becoming parents, despite the passing years. Fast forward to 2019, and the unimaginable unfolded. At the age of 74, Mangama, a farmer, astounded everyone when she was admitted to the hospital. But the surprise didn't end there. She gave birth to not one but twin girls, setting a record as the oldest woman to carry a child to term. The delivery was handled with utmost care and delicacy through a cesarean section, a necessary precaution considering her age. The sheer joy and excitement that flooded the hearts of this elderly couple as they welcomed their baby girls into the world were beyond measure. Plans for their expanding family were already underway, 
proving that when it comes to dreams and determination, there's no such thing as being too old. The case of Mangama defies conventional norms and brings to light the advances in medical technology and the sheer determination of individuals to achieve their dreams of parenthood. While it's an extraordinary story, it also raises discussions about the ethical considerations and potential risks associated with advanced maternal age pregnancies. Nonetheless, it stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of unwavering hope, showcasing that sometimes, against all odds, miracles do happen. Number 10. The Non-Uplets. Let's meet Arby and his wife Halima Sissi, a couple from Mali, West Africa. Their story became a global sensation in 2021. People were amazed when news broke that they were expecting not one, not two, but nine babies in Morocco. Nine babies at once. Here's the full story. This incredible journey wasn't an easy one. The family embarked on a journey from Mali to Morocco, seeking specialized medical care that could turn their dream of starting a family into reality. Now, you might wonder, is having non-uplets even possible? It's an incredibly rare occurrence, and the whole world was wondering the same thing. Arby and Halima were determined. They headed to Morocco, where a team of medical experts was ready to take on this seemingly impossible challenge. The birth of non uplets is like hitting the jackpot a gazillion times over, medically speaking. Each of these nine little miracles has its own unique story, and their arrival into the world was made possible by the dedicated care and expertise of the medical team. Non-uplet births are exceedingly rare, with only a few documented cases globally. Such pregnancies carry an immense risk, not just for the babies, but also for the mother. The chances of successful delivery and the survival of all babies are extremely low due to complications associated with multiple pregnancies. But this one was a success. The news of the non-uplet's birth spread like wildfire, touching the hearts of people worldwide. It's a story that resonates because it defies the odds and showcases the incredible capabilities of medical science. The dedication and expertise of the medical team in Morocco turned what seemed impossible into a miraculous reality, capturing the imagination and admiration of people everywhere. Such rare and high-order multiple pregnancies pose significant challenges in terms of maternal health, neonatal care, and the complexities involved in ensuring the well-being of all the babies. It's a testament to human perseverance, the marvels of medical advancements, and the hope that even in the most extraordinary circumstances, miracles can happen. Number 9. The Two-Faced Baby Nasari, a soon-to-be mom, eagerly awaited the arrival of her baby boy, just like any expectant mother. Throughout her pregnancy, everything seemed normal. There were no serious concerns voiced by the doctors, just the typical anticipation for the big day. Fast forward to 2018, and finally, baby Jalong made his grand entrance into the world in Indonesia. But here's where things get extraordinary. The baby came out with a pair of arms, a pair of legs, and something that made everyone pause. Two independently moving faces, each with its own brain. Jalong was a true rarity, a conjoined twin with a condition known as craniopagus or craniopagus parasiticus, a type of craniofacial duplication. This condition occurs when twins fail to separate properly in the womb, resulting in this mind-boggling outcome. And if that wasn't enough, Jalong was also dealing with hydrocephalus, a serious condition causing fluid buildup in his brain. Imagine the challenges this posed. The usual baby routines didn't quite fit the bill for Jalong. He couldn't be breastfed, so he had to be fed milk through a tube. Doctors at the hospital faced an unusual challenge, contemplating a high-risk operation to remove one of Jalong's faces and brains. Jalong's story is a medical marvel, shedding light on the incredible mysteries of life and the complexities that sometimes accompany it. The odds were stacked against this little one from the start, but his journey was far from ordinary. Number 8. Double Dwarfism Baby Let's meet Nathan Phillips, 34, and his fiancée Laura Whitfield, 24. Their joy knew no bounds when they found out they were expecting a child. But their story takes an unexpected turn. You see, both Nathan and Laura have unique forms of dwarfism, and there was a worry that their baby could inherit a double dose of Laura's condition, called achondroplasia, 
a condition with potentially serious consequences. Doctors advised Nathan and Laura to consider an abortion due to the potential risks involved. It stirred up a storm of concern, raising questions about the future. But here's what sets this couple apart. They chose to stand against the tide. They decided to flip the script and defy the odds, marching forward with the pregnancy despite the daunting uncertainty. Fast forward a few months, and their son, baby Nathan, has made his grand entrance into the world. And he didn't inherit the feared condition from Laura. Instead, he left the medical community completely astonished by inheriting both types of dwarfism from his parents, earning the endearing title of a double dwarf. But the surprises didn't end there. Nathan, Laura, and their bundle of joy shockingly welcomed a second baby. Their story speaks volumes about love, courage, and resilience. It's a tale that pushes the boundaries of medical expectations. Their journey is nothing short of extraordinary, showcasing the unwavering strength of the human spirit, conquering fear, and defying the odds. Dwarfism, such as achondroplasia, is a condition characterized by short stature and variations in body proportions. While most children born to parents with dwarfism inherit the condition, the severity can differ. The chances of a child inheriting both forms of dwarfism, as in Nathan and Laura's case, are exceptionally rare. Their decision to embrace the uncertainties and move forward with love and determination is a testament to the power of familial bonds and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Number 7. The Tale Story In a groundbreaking medical event that occurred in Brazil in 2021, a baby boy was born with a true human tale, a rare occurrence in the realm of medical science. The baby's tail, resembling that of a monkey, measured a remarkable 12 centimeters. What added to the peculiarity was a ball-like structure at the tail's end, making it all the more astonishing and bewildering. This unique case unfolded at the Albert Sabin Children's Hospital in Fortaleza. When the doctors and nurses laid eyes on the baby's tail, they were astounded and taken aback by its unusual nature. The sight was so unprecedented that they promptly initiated a report on this extraordinary condition. According to the Journal of Pediatric Surgery case reports, the baby was delivered prematurely, approximately at 35 weeks of gestation. Surprisingly, an ultrasound scan indicated that the tail wasn't connected to the baby's nervous system. What's even more perplexing is that the baby didn't exhibit any signs of pain or discomfort due to the presence of the tail. This aspect left the medical team bewildered and added to the enigma surrounding this rare occurrence. Prompt action was deemed necessary, and the medical team opted to surgically remove the tail. It's a known fact in embryonic development that all human fetuses develop a tail between four and eight weeks of gestation. Normally, this tail is absorbed into the body as the fetus continues to develop, making this case a truly exceptional and unusual event. The success of the medical team in surgically addressing this rare condition adds to the significance of this unique occurrence. Remarkably, this phenomenon had only been documented in approximately 40 cases throughout the entire history of medical science, underscoring its extreme rarity. Instances such as these, where medical anomalies challenge conventional understanding, serve as a testament to the intricate nature of human development and the complexity of embryonic growth. Number 6. Dead and Back Again In 2013, Erica Negreli, an English teacher, faced a life-threatening situation while in a classroom at a high school in Missouri City. At 36 weeks pregnant, she collapsed and was pronounced clinically dead. It seemed like all hope was lost, but thankfully her colleagues acted swiftly. They performed CPR until paramedics arrived, showcasing the incredible impact immediate assistance can have in such critical moments. Even at the hospital, Erica's heart had stopped. Doctors had to make a heart-wrenching decision to deliver her baby daughter, Elena, while Erica was technically deceased. It was a tense and extraordinary moment, a baby entering the world while her mother fought for her life. Erica's health complications were attributed to a condition known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which causes a thickening of the heart muscle. It's a serious and often life-threatening condition that significantly impacts heart function. In many cases, people don't survive such cardiac events. 
Miraculously, the medical team managed to revive Erica, defying the odds stacked against her. The successful resuscitation of Erica and the safe delivery of Elena was nothing short of a medical marvel. It's a testament to the tireless efforts of medical professionals and the advanced technology and expertise available in emergency situations. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy affects around 1 in 500 people worldwide and is one of the most common genetic heart disorders. It's characterized by an abnormal thickening of the heart muscle, making it harder for the heart to pump blood effectively. This condition can lead to sudden cardiac arrest, especially in pregnant women, making it a critical concern during pregnancy. The fact that Erica survived such a dire situation highlights the remarkable capabilities of modern medicine, especially in handling complicated pregnancies intertwined with serious health crises. Before we continue, let's have our subscribers pick for today. We've heard recurring stories about parents who fought head-on to save their children during pregnancy. Many times they were warned not to have children, but they didn't heed. The parents in this picture are a classic example of such a scenario. There is the story of the California mom's resilience that defied all expectations and how her little one emerged as the smallest survivor ever recorded. We have also heard about the child with double dwarfism, whose parents decided to take a chance on against all odds. These stories amaze us, and though we don't know exactly what the situation is with this particular couple and their child, we can confirm it's nothing short of remarkable as well. Have you ever seen the picture of this family or heard about their story? Let's hear from you in the comment section below. Number 5. The Youngest Woman to Give Birth Let's rewind the clock to 1939 and head to a small village in Peru where a five-year-old girl named Lena caused quite a commotion. Lena's parents noticed a peculiar swelling in her tummy, thinking it was a tumor, but the diagnosis from the doctors left everyone stunned. It wasn't a tumor. It was something far more extraordinary. Lena, at the tender age of five, was seven months pregnant. On May 14, 1939, she underwent a C-section and gave birth to a perfectly healthy six-pound baby boy. At five years, seven months, and 21 days old, Lena Medina became the youngest person in recorded history to give birth, marking an astonishing milestone. Now here's where the mystery deepens. How could a five-year-old become pregnant? This question has intrigued minds for decades. It's believed that Lena had a rare condition called precocious puberty. This condition causes a child's body to mature into adulthood at an exceptionally early age. Despite her young age, Lena's body was developing rapidly into adulthood. But here's the fascinating part. Due to her lack of psychological and emotional maturity, Lena couldn't provide detailed information to the doctors or authorities about the circumstances leading to her pregnancy. To protect their family's privacy, her family chose to keep their lives out of the limelight, prioritizing the well-being of their children. As Lena grew up, she became an accomplished adult, steering clear of the spotlight. Her case remains a remarkable and puzzling part of medical history, shedding light on the complexities of precocious puberty and the exceptional cases that challenge our understanding of human biology. Number 4. World's Smallest Baby TikTok is brimming with clips of toddlers having their hilarious moments, from raiding mom's makeup stash to creating chaos in the kitchen with flour. These kids bring so much joy to the online world. Speaking of little ones, sometimes it's mind-boggling to imagine premature babies, tiny and fragile, connected to machines and incubators, and then envision them years later running around with curiosity. A family from Singapore experienced this journey beyond their wildest thoughts when they welcomed their daughter in 2020, nearly four months earlier than expected. Baby Ku Xuan came into the world weighing a mere 210 grams, about the weight of a softball. Doctors held bleak hopes for her survival given her underdeveloped organs. Yet, this tiny Singaporean warrior had a different plan. She seemed determined to savor life's moments. Week by week, month by month, she defied all expectations, surprising the medical community by growing stronger. After nearly a year in the hospital, her doctors finally gave the green light for her to head home. Against incredible odds, this little fighter left the hospital weighing 6.3 kilograms. 
What's even more astounding is that she secured her place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the lightest baby to survive birth. Imagine that, a tiny tot who defied the odds and inspired everyone with her resilience. It's an indication of the incredible strength and willpower nestled within even the smallest of beings. Number 3. The Unusual Womb Jane Woodhead, born with two wombs and two cervixes, long believed having a child was beyond her reach. Yet against the odds, she defied medical expectations and welcomed a daughter, a true miracle in her eyes. Jane and her partner, Paul, decided to explore in vitro fertilization, IVF, after being informed by doctors that her chances of conceiving naturally were highly unlikely. However, fate took an unexpected turn just a week before they were scheduled to begin fertility treatment. Jane received astonishing news that she was seven weeks pregnant. Amidst months of anxiety and undergoing 17 scans, the couple's perseverance led to the birth of their healthy daughter, Grace. This incredible journey underscores the unpredictable potential of our bodies, mirroring the fascinating and unexpected capabilities they possess. Jane's condition of having two wombs, known as uterus didelphus, is a rare congenital abnormality where a woman is born with two separate uteri, each with its cervix. This condition occurs during fetal development when the malarian ducts, which eventually form the female reproductive system, don't fuse completely. Though relatively rare, it affects around one in every 3,000 women worldwide. Fertility challenges associated with uterus didelphus often include difficulties in conception due to the altered uterine structure. In Jane's case, the initial belief that conception might not occur naturally led her and Paul towards the path of IVF, a fertility treatment that involves fertilizing an egg with sperm outside the body before implanting the embryo in the uterus. However, nature had its plan, as Jane unexpectedly conceived just before initiating the fertility treatment, defying the initial medical prognosis. The birth of grace stands as a testament to the incredible unpredictability of our bodies and the mysteries that even modern medicine might not fully comprehend. Similarly, unique transplantation cases highlight the astounding abilities of medical science. Organ transplants, once considered nearly impossible, have become life-saving procedures, allowing patients to regain health and prolong their lives. The advances in surgical techniques and immunosuppressive medications have made successful organ transplants more achievable, giving hope to countless individuals worldwide. Number 2. The Half-Body Baby Sacralogenesis is a condition that threw doctors a curveball when baby Kenny Easterday entered the world. This rare condition messes with the way the body is put together. Kenny's spine didn't develop properly, creating a significant gap between his pelvis, legs, and upper body. But here's where Kenny's story takes a turn. At just six months old, his parents made a bold decision by opting for a life-changing leg amputation to boost his mobility. After a series of surgeries, Kenny had a unique physique, with his body ending at the waist. Many doubted whether he could navigate this reality and lead a normal life. But Kenny had other plans. He defied all expectations. As he grew up, he embraced life with such vigor that it inspired everyone around him. Picture him with a skateboard, choosing a less conventional path by refusing prosthetic legs. School wasn't just about books for Kenny. He excelled in sports like bowling and track and field. Then came 1988, which was a significant year for Kenny. He took his indomitable spirit to South Korea for the International Paralympics, carrying the torch for his country. His extraordinary journey touched hearts and even landed him a role in the 1988 Canadian film My Kid Brother, a movie that captured his remarkable life story. Against all odds, Kenny surpassed his initial life expectancy of just 21 years. He delved into love, embraced fatherhood, and showcased the immense capacity of the human spirit. His journey continued until he departed this world at the age of 42. Sacralogenesis is an extremely rare condition, affecting approximately one in every 25,000 births. It disrupts the formation of the lower spine and can cause various degrees of impairment. Kenny's determination not only defied medical predictions, but also served as a beacon of hope and inspiration for countless individuals facing their own challenges. Number 1. A Colorful Family 
A Nigerian couple recently welcomed a baby girl into their family, and to their surprise, she had fair skin, blue eyes, and curly blonde hair. This unexpected detail caught everyone off guard, especially her Nigerian parents, who have no known white ancestry. The father was particularly stunned by the sight of his newborn daughter. However, the couple vehemently denied any possibility of infidelity. So, what could possibly explain this unusual genetic twist? Medical experts confirmed that the baby isn't albino. Human genetics experts explain that skin and eye color are influenced by multiple genes. In this case, it's theorized that a trace of white ancestry from each parent's genetic makeup might have combined, resulting in their daughter's unique appearance. But the long, curly blonde hair has left everyone puzzled. Genetic inheritance is a complex interplay of various factors. Traits like skin color, eye color, and hair texture are determined by multiple genes inherited from both parents. While the baby's fair skin and blue eyes might be explained by the blending of ancestral genes, the presence of distinctly blonde, curly hair adds another layer of intrigue to this genetic puzzle. Hair color and texture are determined by different genes than those governing skin and eye color. Typically, blonde hair is associated with a specific genetic trait dominant in certain populations, such as European ancestry. The presence of this hair color in a baby with Nigerian parents, who don't have any known white lineage, challenges our understanding of genetic inheritance and raises questions about the complexities involved in her genetic makeup. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.